Hi, Chris here for Tenke Tech and welcome to the channel. And today I'll show you how to move or reinstall any Epic games without re-downloading them. So let's get started now. Let's say that for any reasons you have to reinstall a game or a friend of yours had a problem with his computer and you want to help him reinstall the game without downloading it again. This is only if you have, let me show you, acquired the game already in Epic. It's not like uh, it's a way for you to buy one game and share it with all your friends. This won't work. As you can see, this game here is installed and I can launch it, both of them here. But I also have, if I show you, I go to Epic Game, okay. Uh, this is not the actual uh, folder because I move it to this hard disk. So the normal position is in C drive, program file, epic, and uh, it should be there. All right. So I close this, go back to the game one where I was here, and epic game. So once you open, you have all the game that you have downloaded. Okay. I have a few more, but this is the one that I use the most. Once you have those games, I advise you to select them, except the launcher and the DirectX. Those, no need. You can Ctrl A to select all. Then you press Ctrl, press launcher, and press DirectX. Okay. Then you can press Ctrl Copy. You go to the drive that you want. And for, let's say for me, I have a game here and I can do a control V or paste it here with a right click and then go to paste when I copy. Here is grayed out because I didn't copy. I have the games here already at the backup. I advise you to do that, God forbid. If anything happens, you have any problem with your computer or if you have a benchmark to do that as well, it's a good thing to do. You can save everything on an external hard drive and then you can use it. Enough bubbling, once you are here, you can see you have the three dots here. Let's say I want to uh, reinstall uh, this one here, Heroes and General, uh, which is uh, this game here, because it's the smallest that I have of all. Uh, if you look at uh, this one here, uh, this one is 90 uh, gigabytes, and uh, Heroes and General, it's only uh, 4 gig, almost 5, as you can see here. So what I need to do, all right, it's before you do anything, if I go to here, where the game should be, Heroes and General, I click to amend the file, like so. Okay. I go back to General, click on Install, and you can see that I can install the game. So. I put install, I wait for the download to start. This is very important. Eh? Okay. Then I press pause and I delete. All right. Once I done that, you can see that here, he asked me to resume. Huh? Normally it's install or launch. Okay. So I go back to my folder here. This is where if you download the file, it will be. So I delete this one and then I rename this one to the normal folder. Then I go back to my epic launcher and I press resume. You can see that it just verify the file that it is correct. So it will take a little while but since it's a small file it won't take that long compared to other files. So it should take about uh, another minute or so. Note that, but I will show you, if you want to remove the game from the launcher, you have first to rename the folder. Because if you click, for example, here, uninstall, what this will do is it will delete all the download. So you have to rename it first. So as you can see, it's checking. At the same time, it looks if there is any updates. All right. so. You can imagine how long it would take if it's a big file like uh, this uh, GTA 5, uh, which is a 90 gigabyte, and Watch Dog 2, it's 37, which is not too big. So that's why I show you with a small file. Not also that when you copy the file here to your backup drive, it may take a long time. So if you know you have to leave your computer, I will advise you to copy one folder by one folder. 
it would be the best like this, you know. Uh, if anything happened, well, uh, the backup stops. Okay, it's ready soon. Once it's ready, I will show you that I can launch uh, the game. Okay, it's very fiery. Now I can launch the game by pressing here and running. Okay, of course I will quit. I put no because this is not what we want. Okay, I have to log in and everything. Huh? This, of course, you have to do. Yes, I know. So, this is done. Back to the launcher and I'll show you. So, before deleting, you have to rename the file. Like so, for example. Then I can do like this and uninstall. So, I install. You can see it was pretty fast. If we look here, we can see we still have all the files. If we did not rename the folder, then here it won't be 4 gigabytes, but maybe uh, a few uh, megabytes because there is some file that stays in, like the save file and so on, I believe. So, okay. So, you saw like this, and now I show you. Here I have Amnesia. You can see it's not installed. But what I did is I go to my because I have, of course, a AMD CPU. You can see that here it is. Okay, I'll show you if I put it like so. The name, okay, it's uh, Amnesia, Machi, all the name. And I can launch the game from here. Okay, if I want to, I'll show you. There it is, I launched the game. Let's exit from here. It will take a little while. when to quit yes I do that's the purpose of me doing this okay and the way I do that it's simple it's I go to let me put it in the full screen I go to home gaming okay game and here you can add game so basically what you need to look for it's the uh, in that case here Epic game, Amnesia, it's here. Alright, and I need to look for the launcher. But in some cases, like this one, this will activate the Epic launcher, which in this case is not what we want. Simply because you didn't add it to the Epic game, it will not work. So you have to put the application itself. Uh, this is basically what will be a shortcut on your desktop. Okay, so you can uh, select this and open. I put it here. So I have those games here already that I can play. Note that some game will not work if you do that because launcher will interfere with this process. So you have to try and error. So this is another way you can do it. Now another thing you can encounter and I'll show you is if you try to install the game uh, you can see I install and uninstall. If I install the game, it will give me an error. The directory must be empty. And this is simply because I didn't rename this folder. Okay, so it won't allow you to install the game. As I showed you earlier, cancel. It's simply rename the folder. That was the reason for me to rename the folder in the first place. Okay, install, and you can see now we allow you to do it. That is all for today. So. You know you can do your YouTube things, like if you want to. It will be greatly appreciated if you subscribe. You can even press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why you do not like it so. I will try my best to make it even better. Stay safe guys and bye now!